Hello everyone, welcome to week 16 of World Geography. The aim of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of what we'll be covering throughout the week and the activities that we'll be taking part in. First, let's go over some of our lesson titles or our agenda that we're going to be covering. So we'll start with our welcome back after your winter break. Um, we'll get back, we'll review our course outline and look at our exam results from our E1 test. And then we'll get started with an introduction to unit three, which is Middle America. We're gonna be starting off by looking at the maps and understanding the geographical location of the countries within this region and the features that they have along with the linguistic um, development that we have in this region. Then we'll move on to the Mayan and Aztec civilization to understand the history of Middle America and the accomplishments that both these civilizations produced. The main questions that we're going to be focusing are as follows. How can we utilize digital and interactive regional maps to indicate geographical features of Middle America? So we're going to be using our interactive maps from Sabas and other websites to help us understand the region more. Then we'll move on to who were the Mayans, what were their main accomplishments, and then the Aztecs. How did they build an empire? What did they accomplish or add on to society? So as mentioned, when we're looking at the E1 exam results, we're going to be thinking about if, if thinking about the um, strengths and areas of improvement that we need to work on um, in the second semester. So we'll look at the multiple choice questions, the free response and the visual analysis, and kind of summarize what the main points were throughout these first two units that we covered in semester one were. These are some of the maps that we're going to be taking a look at for Middle America. We'll also conduct a scavenger hunt after using the interactive maps, which have fill in the blanks so that you guys can practice summarizing some of the main features, um, your analysis skills, rather than just labeling maps. We're going to be looking at some statements and seeing if they're true and false to kind of practice your um, geogra geography skills in indicating these areas and the features that accompany them. Okay, here is another map here of the components that we're going to be focusing on. So again, you're gonna be able to drag countries across the globe and visually compare their size with a focus on Middle, middle America. Then when we move on to the Mayan civilization, we'll talk about the slash and burn technique okay, which is a method of growing food in which wild or forested land is clear cut and any remaining vegetation is burned. We'll see the effectiveness of this method and if people still use it today and where. We'll also look at the interactive gallery for the religious life of the Mayans and then complete the questions that follow on Sabas. And then when we move on to the Aztecs, we'll be looking at where they lived, what advantage the Aztec gained from living on an island. We'll look at the 3D Aztec temple and there is a coloring sheet and labeling sheet also to be distributed with that. We'll look at the social class and structure and probably use a pyramid structure to summarize the um, status of different societal members and their responsibilities or roles. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the type of activities that we'll be utilizing within these lessons or taking part in. So interactive maps, visual graph analysis, of course, we'll be looking at these maps and the data that they present, lesson checks, interactive galleries, and we can also probably be engaging in some role play for the Aztecs and Mayans, especially when it comes to the essential vocab words in the lesson on Savas. So we'll probably get to role play a little bit when we compare and contrast the two or the accomplishments that both um, groups of people um, produced in society or 
impacted society through. And that's basically it for this week. So I hope you have a nice week coming back to school. If you have any questions regarding the material or any other concerns you would like to address in the course, then you can reach out to me through email or in person during office hours. Thank you so much.